name is Juanita. I'm actually a PhD candidate at UC Santa Cruz. I do research in open source security. But I was a Spider IDE maintainer for some years before joining my PhD, and I'm very involved with the Python community, specifically with the scientific Python libraries. And yeah, this year, for the first time, I'm going to be chairing the security track at PyCon uh, with Seth. Yeah, and I'm Seth Larson, and I'm the security developer in residence at the Python Software Foundation for the past couple of years. And that basically means I do a lot of Python work for C, Python, PIP, and PyPI. Track is called Trailblazing Python Security, and it is all about anything security and Python. So topics like how you're using PyPI, how you're doing vulnerability management. So very, very broadly security and Python focused. I think things like related to supply chain security, um, things like if you're developing tools for security in Python or working specifically with like PyPI, implementing security practices as a maintainer in your projects, maybe like share how you're doing some of these things. Um, and then, yeah, maybe if you're involved on like any of the uh, security, like open source projects in the ecosystem, also like come share them and talk about them and how can we use them? Yeah, I wanted to also like double click into the experiences side. I think experiences with security, both as a user and as a developer of security tools and practices, that sort of commingling between users and security experts, uh, any sort of topic that touches on that is going to be hugely important because I always get the feedback whenever I run a security themed open space at PyCon that that's always the most important and the most interesting thing is security developers learning from people that are actually using the tools and people that are you know building applications and programs with Python how can they do security better if you are just slightly thinking about submitting just do it submit like I think that uh, that's the first step and um, I think one of the things that it's very important for the proposals is to make very clear what is it that you want your audience to get out of it? Uh, what is it that you want your audience to learn about it? Um, maybe some like guidance questions on like why you're trying to answer with your proposal. I think that would be like my key advice, but honestly, just do it, like submit. Yeah, and I'll add, you don't have to be an expert in security to submit a topic to the security track. I feel like we over index sometimes on like being an expert when it comes to security. So just, just know that like, if you're someone who is doing something that's related to security and you want to share your experiences, that's enough. You don't have to be like a professional security pen tester or whatever. Um, we just want to hear your experiences. Uh, and I would also recommend if this is your like first time submitting a conference talk, you can ask for a mentor in your submission. <laughs> <laughs>